Okay guys, here is a simple pose of a model standing. I'll show you three ways to start. One is only gesture with lines and curves. And the others with structure. So it depends on how well you know the fundamentals. So I start with a circle for the head. Then determining the shoulder line and the angle of it which helps me to draw the box in perspective. And that box represents the rib cage. Then a big curve for the line of action, and that's actually the name of the website I'm using. I'll leave the link down below in the description. And then a line for the pelvis, which represents the hip bones. Also, the directions of the shoulder and pelvis lines are the opposite to make the pose more dynamic. So, don't stick to the reference and exaggerate it for the sake of practicing. So, the first method is using boxes to represent the ribcage and the pelvis. The horizon line is on the halfway of the model, since we are on the eye level. So, the ribcage box will be above and tilted to the back and the pelvis below is tilted to the front. I know that because of the pose being balanced, so it has to be that way. You can also check the previous video for the profile view so it can be more clear to you. The second method is using egg shape for the ribcage and a half sphere for the pelvis and both of them are subjected to perspective. And then I add the legs as a cylinder. Make sure also to follow the perspective to show if the leg is heading towards the viewer or away of it. And the last method is only showing the gesture of it using lines and curves without showing a representation of the ribcage and pelvis. So I recommend if you are a beginner to start with this method till you are good with basics like perspective and how basic shapes act. Since I'm trying to be loose, so I don't always start on these methods. I sometimes combine them all, or even if I struggle to know the perspective of some parts or the twist of the body, I use also the bean shape, and so on. Also, I don't care that much about anatomy, like showing all the muscles, etc. So I'll leave you guys with some warm-ups so you can follow. So enjoy!